our mentality as fans, we shouldn't blame the players because when they lose, people like Phantom will come here and say, brother, you know what? This and this and that. They should go there and do something. I'm not sure. I uh, just want to quickly say this. Um, I'm not sure what everyone's ex expectations were when we returned to the Champions League. For me, I was expecting us to go to the quarterfinals. And for me, anything above that, for me, in my opinion, is overachieving. But you just have to back the boys in that, in my opinion, I'd be happy. I'd be more happy if they went all out to go for it rather than half-assing it tonight. So I think I think they'll just go. I think the I think Arsenal should just go for it, and I won't be ashamed in the fact that I'd rather them go for it rather than have half-assing it. That's the same exact thing that Badge said. You know, that's what I support. I'd rather we go out for it. We put up a fight rather than get trashed. I don't want to see my team get trashed or no, trashed. No, but aunties, aunties, you know, do you know, do you know, do you know, it depends on, bro. I'll be completely honest with you. Me being cautious before this game has nothing to do with the quality of the squad. Because quality-wise, I feel we're not, we're, we're, there's no, there's no diff, I don't think there's a big, big difference in regards to the, when we're at our best, playing with no mental block and buying, playing with no mental block. I think us at our best, we can beat anyone. You get what I'm saying? But, it's the mental side. I, that's the only thing I'm worried about because not, I'm not just talking Arteta, bro. Arsenal in the last 20 years, when it comes to this stage of the season, when you've had a bad result, we don't tend to bounce back quickly. I'm hoping these guys can rewrite the last 20 years, but at the same time as well, that's why I'm cautious going into the game. It's because <clears throat> we've seen it before, not just Arteta, but Wenger times, Emery times, big stadium, big lights. Man crumble, and it's nothing to do with the manager. It's just the way the club's been for the last twenty years. We need you know to stop I mean? saying this. Do we have a curse? No, no, no. Who were expecting us that for us to win the Champions League at this stage of the season, we should be able to win in every game? Football doesn't work like so that. So, Ken, why did you say our squad was strong to win the UCL? If you, you do not think well, it's all mental. It's all and mental. We have all mental, bro. That's seven that's Arsenal it. players. I, I think it's all El mental. El Hefe told me that the Clan Rice is probably the best defensive midfielder in the world. Bodyguard is Respectfully, I don't, I don't listen to El Hefe. Listen, FJO, they are telling you Bodyguard is operating at world-class levels, right? Saka is the one of the best four wingers in the world. Saliba is probably the best defender in the world. Who said this? This is the time you go and show it. Being the best, Ken, man, what you are you saying? We said this. What you see it every to day? To win these games. No, but I'm, I'm, so I wouldn't take any excuse after the game. If we lose, it will be painful. But I will give some of the players who hide today a very, very big. Uh, hiding on my God space bless you, Hustle. Any player that hides. That's how you should be. I'm sorry. Lord Fina, you lose, you see, it's a missed opportunity. I heard it on my space that I'm watching these players one by one in the running. And I didn't... Lord Fina, I told you, I didn't throw my toys at the Prem because those Aston Villa defeats could happen. But I'm watching all these players one after the other. One after the... Bukayo Saka, I'm watching you. For the past three seasons, as good as you've been, during the last three weeks of the season, four weeks, you go hiding in the dark. Thomas Partey, you are one of them. You gave the ball away in dangerous areas. It's either you are injured or not. West Ham. Both yep. moments from Gabriel. I'm watching all these things. Probably, if they keep crumbling at this time of the season, then you should look at as good as they are. You have to also look at maybe beefing the squad with more more mentality monsters, players who can stand up during crunch times to you're get hosting, you over hosting, the group. line. Otherwise, and, and, you and, won't and, win and, anything. You're and hosting, you're hosting, you're hosting, you're hosting, you're you change the manager, you bring in... See, you're saying he's the manager. It's been asking for the last MGO, 20 years. You so leave stop talking about the manager. You're with, you're with Ken, Ken. Stop talking about the manager, bro. Ken, real it's quick. the truth. Ken, man, do you know how football works? You don't sack 22 players. You sack them. You sack one manager. It's easier to sack a manager than twenty-two uh, players. FGO, 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 that's just the way. FJ, we understand all this, right? When we signed the clan rice, people told us that he is one of the best players who has the mentality. Maybe you have to go through the squad and look at some of the players in their faces. Either you are creating competition for them, or they are not good enough when it comes to the crunch time. Because when it comes to the crunch time, 
it is not about football alone. When you have the mentality that I'm going into this Champions League game against one of the best teams in the world, Bukayo Saka, I'm not going to get enough chances. So if something falls to me, one or two, I'll try and take one. Those are the moments we have Hustings. seen Lucas Mora and the rest do it in this Champions League against an Ajax team that was on rampage. Can we say Yo, the same thing for Man City? I mean, it took you guys, guys several guys, years to guys. get the Champions League. You guys, same thing in terms of mentality. You guys, you guys. I was listening, and I just decided to hop on real quick because I have to thank, I have to thank Hostings and Lord Fina for even asking you guys to pull your pants up. Like, what's this? Since the beginning of the season, we've been listening to to songs of Arsenal being the best team in the league, Saka being a top winger, like a team being so good, Rice one of the best games. These are the games you look forward to. Why is everyone all of a sudden now trying to think of one no, escape I'm, route I'm, or the other? You I'm can't mean, be claiming... They're just trying to protect their agenda. They allow us to know they've got it so wrong. They've got it so wrong this season. Yo, I the end trophy, yeah, they're trying yeah, to defend their individual yeah, agenda. It's obvious. Is, 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 no, it the youngest, the youngest I mean, goods manager, manager the world's best, yeah. world best player, um, one of the best wingers in the world, yeah, the best defense in the world, sense. the best uh, DM, one of the best DMs in the world at, at covering space, eating up ground. Now, we're facing... 105 million. Players. We're playing... We're facing, like, a Bayern Munich side that's, that's been trashed this season. They are really cool with injuries. Nabri, Davis, and Coleman are missing the game. If anybody gave you that before, wouldn't you say, why, why is everyone scared? Why are we actually... Oh, bro, like, not, you see, you, you know, know, you know, you know what? Know, yeah, fans, man. I can't lie. We have, we have no, 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 no. You know the guy that's... We can't, we can't be walking the guy, wait, wait, when we beat Nottingham Forest and cool. Then when it comes to Champions League, we start looking for the second option. no in the first leg. I'm, I'm guessing you predicted 4-0 in the first leg. What's no, that let me, saying? Let me tell you. Let me tell no, 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 no. Used to be in small saying, teams. Oh, why are you scared? You bumping punch bullies or something. Like That's what we are. You know that saying? What's the saying when you're used to beating small teams, but when it comes to facing teams on your level above, you don't have you it. Know, exactly. You know, you can't be giving I want us to beat Bayern Munich and I want us to play Real Madrid in semi-finals. I don't want us to escape any of these world best. I want us to play the best of the best in this Champions League. Let's play Real Let's beat Bayern Munich now and go on to face Real Madrid. Let's really see our players come up against these juggernauts. Enough of all this oh, we'll, we'll beat, we'll beat um, Crystal Palace and we'll come here, come here and be singing praises to our players. This is why I want to sing the praises to them, these kind of games. These are the games I've, I've waited for as an Arsenal fan. Okay, 100%. 100%. I'm with you. But I can't trust this. That's the thing though. They tell us spare times. You know, you know how many times I've heard we have to really like understand that timing is everything when it comes to certain conversations, right? Because the thing is, is that it's one thing for people to say, listen, I'm not feeling too confident for this game, etc., etc., and then use the moniker of, well, it's free speech, etc., etc. But I can't lie. If we're asking for a preview on the tactics and then people are just going to come into the space and say things like, Oh, I don't think Mikel Arteta's got the minerals. I don't think Mikel Arteta can handle Thomas Tuchel. I don't think Mikel Arteta is by, can face against Bayern Munich and whatnot. And it's just going to be constant that. And then pretty much just interruptions saying all that. At that point, it's like you've already made your point. We are already aware of what certain people think of the manager. Like, time is, timing is everything. Like, if we lose against Bayern Munich and you want to crash it on Mikel Arteta then feel free to do so. But like before the game, I would honestly want to hear people's unfiltered thoughts about what team we should be playing and how we should go about setting up tactically. It's as simple as that. That's all I wanted to say. Can I just like, mention something? One thing that, I, that is terrifying me is, do you know how many times we've heard oh, this player is injured and he's not going to play for this team. This player is injured. Oh, and this team is this team's main players, half of them are out or injured or they're not, they're going to miss it or whatever. Do you know how many times we've heard that? We've heard that bare times. And then as soon as the game starts, we see the lineup. These same exact players that they told us we're going to miss this, this exact match. But, Antti, that's why that you have to up. focus on yourself. You don't look no, at don't the worry. external Antti, factors. they are missing the games. The three players mm. they called are missing the games. That's the thing. Though. I don't trust the source. I know I know it's Bild. Oh, Bild no, no. is the one that published it. But it's, I'm not scared. I'm just... Do you know what? I want Arsenal to go put up a performance that no one's seen before. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. 
I don't want, I, I'm not telling them, oh, go thrash by Munich. I, I'd rather we put up a performance and lose. Do you know what I mean? Go for it. Yeah, go, basically go for it. See, yeah, Auntie, like, Auntie, let, 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 let me just say something here. Yeah? When, whenever we're having our pre uh, training before a game, when those training clips come out, right? And our the big accounts in our in our fan base do, uh, or the big journalists, they caption it with a headline like, "All the players, all the first team players for Arsenal are fit and in training today. No one missed, right?" Then I'm looking. Uh, at, can I wait? Can I? Can, wait, I, can I ask you guys a Amanda, quick copium question? Point. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me make let me make a point, right? And I'm looking at the opposition, and oh, I'm yeah, seeing. The, the opposition are losing or they've lost a key of their players. And me, in my head, I'm saying, oh, the best midfielder in my team is available. The best winger in my team is available. One of the best defensive partners in Europe is available. One of the best DMs in the Premier League, which is purported as the best league, is available. Why should I be scared if I'm going to face another team? Yeah, I get it from the angle of experience and pedigree. Right, but at the end of the day, it's still footballers that will play this game. Barcelona have pedigree, they have the experience, but the players they have now is not what they had 10 years ago. The players Lord that hired Monique now is not the, uh, the players that were at Bayern Monique 10 years ago. Lord Fina, if you tell them to do a combined 11, exactly, Asma and maybe Bayern. they put Noya. Ahead of Raya, they will tell you Saliba and Gabriel should be there. Yes, so quite probably it's uh, it's a fifty-fifty toss between. Austin, let me even bust your head. A, a, a combined eleven came out, and Raya was the keeper there. It was not even you. Good. They said even Raya Lima, see Lima and Goreska, right? Yeah, they would say that Clan Rice should be ahead in that regard. Mm -hmm. Now that they don't have, now that they don't have Coleman and Nabri, Saka is there. Probably Hurricane also gets there. So if you have all these players and you are hyping them up, hyping them up, today is the day they have to go and end their paychecks. It's all rosy when you play against the likes of Crystal Palace. And this defeatist mentality, you have played, at, you have kept a clean sheet as the best stadium and the most difficult stadium in the world, which is Man City. You've also gone to Anfield two years straight and you haven't lost there. So why is it all this, oh, heritage, what, 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 what? Please, what are we doing here? Then exactly, we better switch bro. off our TV and go to bed because I don't get this defeatist approach. You Talk want to team. win the Champions League. Do you think the Champions League people who win it, they play Lane Oslo and Blackburn and those teams to win it? These are the nights the competition is made of. So go to Munich and earn your coins. And if you go there, you don't win, probably you have to look at your team and say, you know what? You still got to improve because maybe you are not at that level yet. That's all you have This is say. how Sir Alex Ferguson, Don't come Marino, and say experience, this, 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 legendary this, this, this. managers made their names. Yeah, experience is end, right? Then you have to earn it over a specific period of time. So I hate all this narrative that we are trying to bring this morning that, oh, if we lose, it's Bayern. If we do this, it's that. You guys told me on this space we have a better chance of winning the Champions League because the referees in the EPL are bad. Since if Guardiola doesn't leave this, 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 this. Even people are afraid of Man City if we get through. A team you have shown three times this season, they can't beat you. You know the template. Why don't you make adjustments to face them? You were complaining in Jewish at the beginning of the season. Now everybody is back. But still, you are here creating an avenue so that when we don't qualify, you go and sleep there and say, well, before the game, I said this, I'm not worried. This copium you guys sell here sometimes is too much. <laughs> it's it's too an much. endless cycle. It's, it's a never-ending project. For, for most of these fans. It's a never-ending project. They just like, you know, flirting with the Champions League, flirting with the Premier League. They did, They don't want to get over the edge. Let's go to Bayern Munich and win. Simple. A hundred percent. I'm with you, bro. And personally, there's a reason. Bro, no, what are we talking about, man? Bro, 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 Hastings, that speech you just gave, I don't know where it came from. Like, bruv, at the end of the day, who the fuck is not wanting to go to Bayern and beat them? 
Who the fuck is not? Like, you tell me one person who said, we're not going to do it, right? The worst thing that, well, that was being said was, right, unless we get humiliated at the Aliens Arena, right? Sorry, it's me muting, guys. Unless we get humiliated at the Aliens Arena, I pretty much know exactly what's going to happen today in terms of you know, whatever outcomes that happen. If we win, we, well, we've won, right? And we're here together. If we lose or we don't get humiliated, we've made progress in the Champions League. So I'm just telling you, I know what, I've already set the rooms out already. There's, you can't really change much from this. The rooms are already set. Do you get me? I know what, which room I'm going to by the end of it, so I'm not nervous. So that, that, that's, that's my only explanation. Uh, if that's Franco, opium to you, then I don't know what it is. Bro. That's, that's the realest shit that you can get, bro. The thing is... And I, and I even told you, I even told you I'm quite excited for this game. I'm not feeling nervous. That tells how's that copier? Like oh, so, so you're telling me to not feel nervous or feel nervous? Which one is? No, it? no, no, Phantom. Right? What? What? The way you say it like this is good, but what? 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 I'm finding objectionable here yeah, is when you say, "Well, if we lose, we learn from it." That that is taking the positives out of it to a certain degree. But at the end of the day, no, it is not. Is Lord, Lord Fina, Lord Fina. Lord Fino, like at the end of the day, Lord Fino, I, I've told you, how, I, how can I be taking the positive out of it when I've considered the outcomes, each outcome? I even told you, if I lose, right, unless I get humiliated at the Allianz Arena, I'm playing Bayern Munich. I'm very aware of who I'm playing here. If I lose to them, it can happen. They can go and win the Champions League. But you're, from here, that, that's what I'm saying. Right? You're taking, but you're all taking, I'm saying that, is, all I'm saying is, right? That's wait, wait, Lord okay, Fina, again. Wait, wait. This is where Franco. you are acting. Wait, wait, wait. This is where you are acting as if you don't understand where I'm coming. One place no, is very no. simple. Okay, Phantom, you just it's me. very simple, let, Lord let Fina. It's going to take a lot Phantom, for me. Let me ask you. It's going to take, regardless, regardless, Phantom, Lord Fina. Like again, let me ask you a question. God, God, God. Between Arsenal and Bayern Munich, who is the favourites to win this game? We'll get to know tonight. Between, between Arsenal and Bayern? I don't know. We'll get to know tonight. We'll get to know tonight. I don't know. Who, who is the favourites? I don't know. No, I no, mean, no. This is exactly... Okay. Gonna, uh, this, is the, this is why I'm saying you are not being direct. It's a simple question. You are a football fan. You've watched the two teams from August till this stage. Between Arsenal and Bayern Munich, who is the favourites to go through to the next no, round? No, you are no, not no. saying Arsenal will go through. I'm asking, who do you think is the favourite to go through to the next round? In my opinion, uh, considering Arsenal, the second leg Arsenal. is at Bayern, I'd say they're, Bro, the, they're the favourites. Right? Yeah, li literally, I have no idea. Like, I haven't checked wow. who the favourites are. So wow. I don't know. <laughs> wow. And you, you know me. Wait, wait, you know, whoever, Fina, whoever, wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that Lord I Fina, said, right? Lord Fina, you know my approach to games, right? I don't listen to anybody. I come up with my own conclusion. I told you guys the same thing with Porto. I've been saying it throughout the whole fucking Champions League. Yeah, I don't do the favourites thing. I'm not going to come in here and tell you, oh, they're favourites. No. How, how, me, why can't you me, do the favourites Me, me thing? personally. Why? Why? Be, because that's not who I am. Bro, it's it's not who I am. Well. No, wait, wait, no. No, wait, it's not who I am and I've never done it. It's not how I, it's not how I operate. It's not how I analyse things. 100%. Who's the favourite? I don't care. Like, 100%. when have you ever seen me care so, about so, that? So, Lord wait, Fina? wait, 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 Phantom. So, if Man City is playing the Crystal Palace in FA Cup final, and I ask you as a football fan, who is the favourite to win the, the FA Cup final? You will say you don't know, you don't care, because you don't watch football that way. No, as in, as in, that's not how I analyse things. But if you're going to ask me that, because, Palace, again, though. again, if you've asked me that, right, it's the only time I'll answer it because it's the only time you made me think about it. Otherwise, I'm not going, obviously, I'm expecting Man City to win, right? They're a special team, right? But that's not the way I think about things. I, I'm going to, to Allianz Arena. I'm thinking about me. Fuck oh, okay, my... Okay, okay, okay. Let me... Right? Let, uh, Franco, I'm let also, me I'm also... Now. Wait, wait, wait. I'm also aware, Lord Fina, you know me, right? I analyze my opposition. Every time I go into a game, I analyze opposition. That's why I come in here yeah, and say yeah, things and get that. called negative. That. Okay, yeah, but, so with that, okay, so, knowing so, so, the person that you're speaking to, right, what, with what I'm saying, what I'm saying, if I lose, unless I get humiliated at the Allianz Arena, because again, my head is right in this, Champions League, right, Allianz Arena, second leg, 2-2, two -two, bruv, I can lose here at Bayern Munich, like, I'm not stupid here, I'm not a child, right, so I'm telling you, I can lose here, right, I can lose 2-1 and have a good performance and lose. 
right? Because they have the quality to turn it on the Champions League night in front of their fans, Champions League. So right? if you are they the can coach, do it. You, all I'm saying is, all I'm players? saying is, all I'm all I'm telling you is what you already know, Lord Fina. Right? Wait, wait, At the random, end of the day, random, unless, random, if oh, I oh, get humiliated... Okay, Lord Fina, if I get random, humiliated, humili am I going to take positives from that? Bro, uh, uh, am I going humili to take positives from humiliation? Leave humiliation. Leave humiliation. That is out of the... That is out, out, out of the... Um, okay, if I lose them. That, that, that is what I'm particular on, right? In my head, I'm thinking, okay, this is the best Arsenal we've been, which has been collectively agreed by all Arsenal fans. In fact, Arsenal fans... I've gone on to stretch, uh, stretch it that this Arsenal team is currently better than the one of last season, right? I've heard that opinion has been echoed around the Arsenal fan base. Yes, I believe present, so. That's yeah, my opinion as well. Yeah. Exactly. So we can collude and say this is the best Arsenal team of the Emirates era, right? Mm. Potentially, yeah. Okay, thank you. Now we are going to face the worst Monique side in the last 20... They, even the times they've lost their league, right? They've not lost it with Bro, 16 again, points. Not Fina. The, wait, the wait, league has got nothing to do with the Champions in, League, man. I know, I know. I'm still going to relate it to the Champions like League. Man. See, see, the truth of the matter is it's not uh, uh, experience and heritage that are playing the uh, match on that day. No. It is the quality of players you have. That is why Manchester United went to Allianz Arena and scored three goals. Even how bad and woeful United have been. How many teams have United scored three goals in the Premier League? But United still went to the Allianz Arena in the Champions League night and scored three goals. Bayern came to their home in, in, in Old Trafford, no matter how woeful United have been, and they could only score one goal. Right? Now, I'm not saying that is how you judge or analyse football, but that can just show you how bad Bayern Munich have been this season. When you start playing around the facts and saying, well, you cannot say who is favourites to win, then in my hey, head... Lord I, I feel Champions your League, knockout stage, bro. Knockout. Like, you guys were telling me Porto are going to destroy it. Uh, we're going to destroy Porto because that's what they're doing in the league in their six. No, no, no. You get no me? I told you. We I told you. I literally told you guys. Knockout stage, Champions League. Porto I even, I even told special. you, please, wait, FGO, please, let me have this conversation with Lord Fina. I told you guys, throughout the whole entire Champions League campaign, group stages will knock teams 6 0. We we'll play the exact same team which we knocked 6 0 in the group stages and the knockout stages and shit changes. Right? We are playing Bayern Munich now. We've gone past that threshold where, oh, you can get a, a nice little dodgy result 3 3 against Bayern at the Bayern. Bruv, try that shit now against them. Man U. If Man United play them right now, bruv, Man U get. That will get piped in the so, knockout so, stage so, of a so, Champions so League. Phantom, Phantom. So, what, so this is what, what I'm talking about, bro. Right? What what I'm trying to say is very simple, Lord Fina. I expect a harder challenge from Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena. That we even got the Emirates, and they even played well at the Emirates. Right? So, so, this so, is so, okay. All, so, so this, Phantom, wait, Phantom, let me finish. Wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Please, please, let me finish. Right? This is all. This is their whole entire season that's left of it in a nutshell. Here, I guess Arsenal, a team that they don't fear. We ain't Real Madrid. Right, and we are coming to them after we've given them belief in a two-two result. Right, they know that they can play against us now, and they're taking us back to the Allianz Arena, and they've got nothing to play for in the fucking season. So you best believe they're going to throw the fucking hell sink at us, not just the kitchen sink, the hell sink, bro. They're going to throw the bathtub at us, bro. Phantom, this, this you get is, me this on is, their this, terms, this is and if you expect, you. if you hold expect. Hold if you expect them to just crumble, yeah, the only way we, they're going to crumble is if we punish them, like we're talking really, really early, and open a can of worms where the, Phantom, the league form will with, see it. With what I'm having, you get what I'm you, saying? You're, you're speaking, you're hey, speaking Phantom, on both I hear exactly what you're saying. Gee. No, no, no. You're speaking from both sides of your mouth, right? So, Sounds what, like you're preparing so whatever outcome for... happens in the game, you are right. And I don't like people that speak that way. You're speaking in a way where you speak spoken from three angles, so whatever happens in the game, you are actually right. You are not wrong in any Yes! Li li but I literally not told you that. To if not, then... then it's no not how it's meant to be! Says no, no. who? Says you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, Phantom, do, do you generally I believe that? I don't get this, bro! Wait, wait, hold on. Do you generally... I'm literally thinking that way. Who oh, enables me to think that way? Me, bro. So why is it not right? 
<laughs> no, no, no. So <laughs> every game we're meant I, to play, bro. Arsenal fans are just meant to come on I, spaces and say, we might lose, draw, or win, right? Whatever outcome that happens, as far as it's not humiliation, let's take it like that. That, that is, to me, that's... No, no, no that's not what I said. Plan. Bro, bro, that's not what I said, Lofina. I literally said, for me, yeah, me personally, I've prepared myself for all the outcomes. You get me? I know exactly what outcomes are going to happen today. That's why I'm not nervous. That's what I just told you in the beginning. And you've taken it as, you should think like this. I'm saying you should think like this. No. Think however the fuck you're going to think. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Clear? <laughs> bro, he put him in his place, man. I guarantee bro, is that any difficult to understand? Yes. When, when he took Porto to Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah sorry, that, was, that was a double mute. But if I made it clear, like, bro, I don't, I don't get, like, Lord Finn, I don't get why we are arguing. No, bro, no, I literally said the simplest this, thing. This is what, this is what, uh, uh, Hustings, please, let me just say this and I'll go on mute, right? And I'll, I'll, I'll allow others speak. In your assertion, you are just saying, you personally, you know the outcome of today. Right, that's what you said, right, Fanto? You said you you know the outcome of no, what's no. I said I I said I said not that I know the outcome. I said the outcome is going to go one of three ways. Okay. And right. in uh, in the context of what we have done until this season, I'm actually all right with all of them, apart from if we get humiliated tonight. Okay. That's so my perspective. If, I, if I get if what's I get yours, you correctly, bro? if I get you correctly, right? Even if we lose, if we lose, like maybe two nil. Or we lose one nil, right? But Bayern still dominated us. You'll be okay with that result. No, that's a humiliation. I class as humiliation. It's one zero humiliation. No, you said they dominated us. We didn't no, lay okay, a glove let, on let them. Me not say, let me not say dominate, but they, they stopped us from creating chances. Oh, they stopped us from bro, creating chances. Bro, chances. that 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 again, again, anything that classes as a humiliation. I didn't give a specific for a score line. I'm saying we get humiliated at the Allianz Arena. As long as it is not humiliation and we do what we usually do, there's a base level to us now, right? If we just turn up like we usually do and fight, yeah, but we don't win the game, can I, what can I say? But again, if we get humiliated, outplayed, I'm not going to be fucking happy, am I? But again, I, I've, I've just analysed it very clearly. You know me, I like thinking. I've told you I'm a thinker, right? You know how I think by now if you've <laughs> talked to me. Right, I'm just saying there's three outcomes here. And in the context of this game and our season, I'm actually all right with that, unless it's fucking mediation. What's so difficult to understand about that? What am I forcing people to do? What's the wrongness in that? What's wrong? Because Lord Philly, you said I was wrong twice. But, uh, but Phantom, if you are a psychologist, I don't want you near my club. The way you speak, I wouldn't want you near my club. Because if Ateta today is with you there and he tells you, oh, Phantom, speak to the guys about the game before they go onto the pitch. And you are here saying that I've wired my brain to all the outcomes. Go and play. Bro, Hosting. Hosting. I remember the Amazon, Hosting, remember the Amazon Hosting, documentary. I wouldn't remember want you the in the Arsenal dressing room either. Thank goodness we are not if both. Phantom was in, if, if Phantom was in a one-on-one -on -one meeting with those players, he would be giving them excuses. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right. FJO. FJO. I am speaking as a fan. You man, you man are, you man are, are you guys are. Yeah, but guys, I feel like, you guys, like what you guys, saying, you see what yeah. I mean? I'm not. I'm not saying that I. This lot are trying to be very Wait, difficult. Hold, hold on, Phantom. But I'm not saying that I agree with what you want to happen or whatever. But I feel like Phantom saying his coping me mechanism, like how he's gonna see the game for himself and how he's gonna deal with it if it goes X, Y, and Z. I don't think he wants it to go any other way than a win. He's saying if that happens, I'm I'm gonna feel this way, and that's him. That's his opinion. He's not gonna go and tell the the players that. He's not gonna go tell other fans that. He's saying how he's gonna react, how he feels when X, Y, and Z happens in it. That's what he was trying to say. I don't. And and on top of that, if I'm selling you copium, how come I'm 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 as doing what I always do and just telling you how strong your position is? Like I'm aware that I'm up against Bayern Munich here. Right, yeah, regardless that's, of that's what they're doing the in there, advice, yeah, the regardless, the regardless of what happens in the league, right? I don't expect that until we put them away one nil, two nil, and then I expect the kind of worms to open, bro.
again, I'm very, I've chosen my words very, very carefully here. Like, bruv, I don't expect shitty Bayern Munich unless we score first. And then, yes, you see the, the can of worms opening inside Allianz Arena and their fans. So they can't feed off of that energy. But we have to do it to them for that to happen. Because, bruv, at nil nil, 2 2, it's not going to be like, oh, we're just walking through Bayern. You are dreaming if you think that's what's going to happen. Dreaming. So wow. fans are just and funny. You know it. And, just funny. Funny. and you uh, know it. I just find it funny how anytime you thing. say a realistic result, like we're going up against Bayern in the Champions League, but if you don't say we're winning 6-0, then you're you're giving excuses. It's copium. Like are buying some strippers, are buying Sheffield United. Like that we're going to go up to their house in big Bayern Munich and Allianz Arena and smack them six. Like, no, it's a, going to be a pragmatic game. That's all he's saying. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to compare um, excuses with, with Phantom, though. I was saying, are we the underdogs? Oh, oh someone said, are they, who's the favourites? I said, um, I said Bayern, but that doesn't mean I don't think and want us to win. I think we can win there, bro. I mean, I'm sure there were some Villa fans saying they were, we were the favourites on Sunday and, and they believed, they probably believed that they could win at the Emirates and they did, bro. I believe we can win today. That's a fact. I don't, then, care, when, I don't care if we're the favourites or not. 11, don't, put, don't put your players because when oh, you do this combined 11, it's not experience and heritage you are putting as the good no, exactly. exactly. right. But you're it is that. combining. Oh, but no, you're putting the players. That Igal guy, that Igal guy is the biggest fraud. So if, if, he, if he's, you guys he's, always genuinely believe Arsenal as, as, uh, as uh, uh, one of the best, uh, we have the best players in Europe, why then are you wanting to pose as the underdog in this situation? I, I don't get it. Hey, me. Like, the, thing is, me. Well, the thing is, yeah, we, we, have to, we have to stop doing this thing, yeah, where a large section of a fan base says one thing and then we apply it to certain people that choose to give buy-in respect. Like, we really, really need to understand that certain people speak for themselves, not for the fan base. In my humble opinion, yeah, even before the season started, I just said, I'm just happy for us to get to the quarters. Do you know what I mean? Because we haven't even been to the quarters since 2010. And so many people are getting on my neck trying to say, oh my gosh, El Jefe, what are you trying to say about our team? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, experience is important in this thing. Because the Champions League, as we just found out against Porto, is about moments. And if you do not take your moments, you will be punished for it severely. You could be a team that is all over another team. Like Barcelona, in my opinion, were the better team over two legs against PSG. That's my personal opinion. And yet PSG absolutely slapped them because one moment, that red card, ruined the whole tie for them. Do you know what I mean? And so that's why, when it comes down to it, yeah... Our team is quality, don't get me wrong, but you have to remember, most of these players, this is their first time in the Champions League. This is their first time having to like try and come up against really hostile environments in Europe, yeah? That is among the best teams in world football, and they have to try and go as far as the semi-finals, to which they will face either one of the two last Champions League winning teams in world football. So that's why when people are trying to say, oh, you Arsenal fans, it's like, let's try and point out specific Arsenal fans, yeah? So someone like Gunners, for instance, who, you know, spoke on what he said, yeah, he's he was one of the fans who said that. Now, if he feels confident in his team, fair enough, you can go ask him that question. But let's not apply it to every single Arsenal fan here. That's yeah, no, that's, that's fair still, because, like, if certain fans say something, yeah, um, saying that we've got the best this, we've got it, I've never said those words, bro. So if I say that Bayern are the favourites for tonight's match, that doesn't mean like I I never said I never done a fucking combined eleven. With Real why, why do you think they're the favorites? Based on what? Is it experience but or based the better on players? Name, bro. Okay, based wait. On name. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. The reason why I say they're the favorites is because of how the tie has come out. Yeah, we were at home. Yeah, we were the favorites at home. We didn't win the game. So right now they're the favorites because it's at their ground, bro. That's literally it's oh, very. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even going that far saying oh because they've won it. They won the Champions League four years ago. Blah. I'm just saying right now yeah. the home team usually has the advantage, right? That's you. Usually what happens. They so, so you don't. You, you, you necessarily do not believe Bayern have the better players. So, oh shit! Sorry. Say again. 
I think you necessarily don't believe Bayern have better players than us. You just think it's because they, of the, the they, ads. They have they have some world class players in their eleven, yes. But I'm not even talking about they, that. They have the experience. They have the experience. They, they, yeah, they have that too. But wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, the reason why I say they're the favourites is not really to do with their individual players because, like you were saying, they've not been in the best form this season. But it's because the return leg is at their ground and. Like someone else said also, they don't have anything else to play for. So they could just put everything out there. And that doesn't mean I don't believe we can win, bro. Did you see the difference? I still think we can win whether we're the favourites or not. It doesn't matter. But I still say that they are currently the favourites because they have their home fans there and they don't lose at home. I don't even remember the last time they lost in the Champions League at home. Isn't it? It's been a while. Even when they got knocked out last year, they still drew against C. So, like, do you know what I'm saying? So, I'm all I'm saying is they're the favourites. The, the onus is on them to attack. But I've seen us. I've seen us go to a hell of a way grounds where we weren't. We weren't the favourites uh, the past few years, and we still won, bro. So I, I've seen that. I've got the experience of that as well in my head. So I'm saying we can win. We can win tonight, bro. Easy. Well, not easy, but like simple. You see it? the thing is. See, the thing is, virtual. See, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, for me, I, it's like people want someone to, like, pick a side on the extreme. Like, either you're so gassed, like, yeah, we're winning 100%, 100%, man. Pray for Bayern. Or you have to be like, oh, guys, we're not winning, man. Manager don't have the minerals. Saka's going to hide. Oh, Jesus, you know what I mean? He's not going to be up for it because you know what this guy's like when he's in front of goal and he, you've got Manuel Neuer and blah, blah, blah. It's just like... You can have a nuanced opinion that says, even though we're not the favourites, yeah, because let's face it, yeah, so many of us, so many of us, I'm sure all of us at one point have had some form of doubt in terms of being able to, like, actually take it over the line because of what we've seen in certain games where certain players have been in the prime position to score and we threw it away. Or we made a stupid horror mistake in a big game and... It's like we still haven't gotten over that mental block. Every single one of us experienced that, even for just a split second, right? And the thing is, it's like we need to start being a lot more, like, not more humble as such, because I think you can honestly say that we are one of the best teams in Europe in terms of structure, right? But the thing is, is that the thing about the Champions League is that oftentimes you can be a fantastic team in terms of quality and you can still lose. You can do everything correctly over two legs and still lose, right? That's the point about the Champions League. And the thing is, we need to understand here as well, yeah? Then you don't when have any business to, being in it for the first place. You don't have any business being in it with this finish. mentality. May I finish? Okay. I would analyze my opponent and if, look at if, where if the, when when the game begins, right? And all these things you've said happen because what you, you what you've said now is very is very very correct, right? We, what you the way you put it, if the game begins and these things happen, right? Like maybe Barcelona when they got a red card to Arauco and the game changes, and maybe we lose. That's fair enough. That moment or something has spoiled the game. Right, if maybe we're playing now and maybe one of Saliba or Gabriel or Ben White get the red card, that's a different scenario. That's the game state has changed. No one come after the game and start saying, "Oh, we lost. Why did we do that?" Because we know already a moment that already killed that game. But no, are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. What, if, what, what, if, what if Saliba caused it? If Saliba, what if Saliba caused this? Like, oh, what's Saliba doing? Oh, his head lost. He's a bum. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Oh. You, 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 what I'm saying no. is now, right? You can limit the criticism to maybe Saliba. The way Didier Deschamps the, the was way right Barcelona to fans, not start uh, him, criticize. No? Yes, they Araujo. Barcelona fans regard him as one of the best defenders in the world, but they still were on him yesterday night, and rightfully so because that singular moment he did cost them the tie. It's, it's okay if they are on his neck. No no one, they, they can. They have the right to just for the moment. They would, But you didn't see them start going, oh, Xavi is useless or this, this, that. They only criticized Xavi for like removing Yamao, who was like the attacking outlet. Fair enough. Really? Yeah. Lord Fina? Lord yeah, Fina? Majority of them did. I know. I know a few Barcelona fans. Ask any Barcelona fan right now about Xavi's decisions against PSG. I'll tell you right now. Are you kidding me, Lord Fina? Uh, let's let's hear from Boogie. Can, can, can I just go? A lot of I, don't, I don't know why, Austin, I don't know why you're disagreeing with El Jefe. Everything he said was true. You can be the best team and totally lose. Look at the teams who have won it in the last five years. 
those are teams that have players that don't care what the instructions are. They just go in there, and improvise, and get the job done. Hey, if somebody say something because I can't hear anything. Uh, you have yeah, to I'm, drop I'm, I'm speaking. Yeah, the structure. Sometimes the structure doesn't get you over the line. Guardiola tried it for so many years; it didn't work. Haaland came in, boom, Champions League. It's no fluke, right? You have to have that one player who doesn't care about the script and just wants to get the job done regardless of what the manager says. He's absolutely right. So, Jeffrey, do you think we have that player? Do you think we have that player in this team? I think the only player who is capable of doing that is Odegaard. Now, I just it's, back it's, up it's, because I, he's involved in so many goals. So I, and I said it yesterday, Phantom. It's still an injustice that as good as Odegaard has played this season, he only has six assists. Only six assists. That's crazy to me with how good he's been this season. Jeffrey, so try and be bolder than um, Phantom. Do you have a score prediction for this game? Or you don't two want one. to predict? 2 1 Arsenal. Oh, that's, that's more balls there, man. Let's go and do the business. Yeah, Come on, boys. Do, I don't know what they, 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 they didn't like my answer. Even though it had meticulous detail, my answer is not bold Phantom. enough. Phantom. Prediction. Phantom, let's hear from Boogeyman. He has his hand up. Go on, Boogeyman. I'm, I'm just trying to be a polite. Polite young man. Um, an excellent space, boys. Um, really, really interesting. I love listening to El Yaffe. I always listen to you, mate. You're, uh, uh, you speak very diplomatic. You, uh, you've got a, a, got a good football sense, mate. I like listening to you. Um, listen, I just put us on a, on a positive note. Remember, boys, they haven't got Coleman, Davis, or Sane tonight. So that's that's three positives. So I we got a look. Racist off the stage, you man, bro. Boot I'm not actually racist. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on a sec. Uh, more bugs, though. Uh, you are this my guy brother, loves MCS. Fam. Maybe, may, maybe you and him. Wait, has is he racist? Some more because I've I've had like oh, a multiple DMs saying kick this guy. Please, where's your please? Please, Mo Bagsdale, respectfully, I don't know what happened between you and him on the space, but that might be something that didn't happen on my space, and he's come here, he has to talk, let him have his say, right? After that, you also have your say. I haven't encountered that with him. If you have, Probably after he speak and you speak and we go to the off pin floor, you could ask him questions on what led to that. That is more fair, but I can't no, just I don't think it's football related, bro. Based on, based on your opinion, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely sorry about that. Let him finish. Once he's done, then you, you can also have your take. Let's talk football because this is a football space. Thank you very much, Mo. And Boogeyman, please go through quickly. Think, are you stupid? Uh, this guy's got a picture of someone praying. And someone doing a madness okay, behind the guy that's praying. Later, man. Are you skunked, bro? This bro, uh, uh, don't come as bro. This Mo, bro, go on this guy's timeline, Hustings. Go on his timeline. Why are we checking his timeline? Move, move. Because you, move, 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 move. Like I said, people have their opinions aside football, and we are talking football here. So let's speak, stick to football, right? If maybe you don't feel comfortable with him being on here, he was up here before you, you can drop down after he finished speaking, then you come back up. Because if it's political, I'm not a politician and I don't take stance. People come on my, my heart here where they have, I stand with Ukraine, I stand with this, I stand with that, but let's stick to football, please. That's what I'm asking for. Please. Those fights can... I know you wouldn't agree, but... Nah, who's thinking you're a joke, man? You're a joke, man. Respectfully, you're a joke, no, man. No, I'm not. Joke, I'm not. Joke, I'm not. I'm not. Nah, you're not. Thing, we're, we're talking football here, man. Guys, nobody's taking any political stance. If you fail to listen to that statement, that's a you problem. Nobody is taking political stance. We're taking football stance. We don't care. That's the bottom line, bro. That's that. Hundred percent, bro. We're not talking politics. This is not Channel Four. Like, uh, you man. Let me just Arsenal. one last thing. Let me just say this. Let Boogie me just man, just we're all, all Arsenal. Arsenal, 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 Arsenal. Two seconds. Bro. Two seconds. Let me just say this. I, I don't I want this to be political. It, 
Mo Bagsdale. Mo, please, respectfully, respectfully, Mo. We are Man, all just the class speakers energy, of this bro. Let's let's take it to football. I know you may have no, no, Gunners. Let me just last thing. I'm not. I'm not wilding out. Don't worry. I'm not gonna say nothing crazy. Okay. On, let me just say this. It's not politics, you man. The guy's got someone praying and a goat fucking him. That's not politics. That's insane. That's nothing to do with politics, you man. That's a man going out of his way to disrespect Muslims. That's not in politics. I don't Mo, Mo, please, that's, please I stop. Random. Hold on, hold please on. Stop that's, scrolling that's down timelines, bro. Too late. Done. It's 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 not politics. Well, it's hold on, Phantom. Let it go. Second. You're gonna have hold to forget on, that. I can't on, lie, on, Phantom, Phantom, Just let it go, Nobody man. else let it will go, look for it. Go. That's fine. Nobody That's fine. wants to confirm that. That's fine. I don't care if you might want to confirm on your own nerds. Listen to what I'm saying. No, you're it's, the nerd. Because hold you're on, hold on. Don't get around. 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 More, more. Don't change the subject now. It doesn't affect you in real life, bro. It doesn't affect you in real life. Come on, come on. We're talking about don't get rattled. Let's go back to football then. Back to football. Bro, That's fuck that. your football, bro, man. Yeah, yeah, the, the yeah bro. Man, weirdos, this guy, man. you know, this man, guy is an weirdos, NCS. Bro. This guy loves man, main weirdos, attention, bro. bro. You, man, you weirdos, love main bro. attention. I've noticed. Nah, I know you've been right, man, man, man. I'm off. Yeah. Listen, listen. Man, I'm going to go. go. I'm going to. I'm going to go. I'm going to go down. Listen, boys. I'm going to go down. He's obviously got no, his no, issues. Man, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I've been an Arsenal fan since 1978. I thought we were talking football. It's fine, boys. I can understand. We've all got our opinions of, of religion. And, and and I believe me, I've been abused. Hold on, and, 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 uh, speak. You can speak. You can speak. Yeah. Look, Boogie look, man. We're just talking man. football here. Yeah, man. yeah. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Come on, guys. And, and, uh, Arsenal, Boogie man. Let's talk football. I would DM Phantom to come back. Let's stick to football, right? If everybody comes on this space and try to bring in religion, politics, and all those things, maybe I haven't encountered that. For uh, you can only testify what happens in front of you, and I don't like this uh, idea of trying to bring issues that have happened in previous spaces up onto where we're talking about. We sticking to football. If, me, for instance, it's not every space I attend. It's not every space I speak. When I go there and my opinions doesn't meet with session of the fans on there, I just stay in listeners. I'll not even come up. So more respectfully, if you have issues with someone who you feel is, uh, has made racial slurs towards you and it wasn't on my space, respectfully, just don't come up. With, with, Just I think, I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Stuff. With all you, with all yeah, you, with it, all it you, it gets with, to a point sorry. where, like, you are certain people up with certain people on this app. With all due respect, I haven't had any beef with him on any spaces. He, he does see me come up on spaces and he comes out with the same stuff. But listen, I, I'm just giving a bit of positivity on the space. Uh, as I say, been, I, I, I love listening to LEFA. I think he's excellent. Um, and, and, and you know what? I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just here to give my Arsenal opinion. My religion is, is separate from this. Um, uh, you know what? I've, I've been, I've, I've been, I've been abused with anti-Semitism. So, you know, if we, we won't get involved in, in, co in conversations about that, boys. Look, then we're all to only talk football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, 100%. Leave religion out. Listen, if anyone's up for coming to the Gunners pub tonight, and if you're, if you're in London, come up to the Gunners pub and we'll have a pint and we'll watch Arsenal fucking fuck these people over because that's, that's how I'm looking at it. We're going to win 2-0 and that's my positivity, boys. Uh, Sorry to come on the space and it's uh and it's you know it's all gone a bit solemn but I love you all you're all gooning us together and that no that's, you that, just that, stay just stay that, on that, that, respectfully boogie man you can stay talk about the game more I wanted to even ask you a question how do you see this game going from like your personal opinion my personal opinion the matchup what we should do just dissect the game uh, if anyone has issues with you. Of what has happened on the space. I'll just step down. I'll here. just step down, mate. I'd, 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 I'd rather not have the. I'd rather not have the issues. I'd rather step down. But the way I see it, I'd, I'd like to see Partey back in the midfield. I think that uh, he brings a bit of a bit of uh, stabilism to the team. I think that um, we need to have Tommy Asu back in the defence. 
Um, I, I think apart from that, I, I, I don't think we should be having Trossard up front. I think he's an impact player. I think he needs to come off the bench when needed. I'd like to see, uh, although Martinelli hasn't been playing amazingly at the moment, but he's there. And listen, it's uh, it's uh, one of those games. Uh, they've got three players out. I'm feeling a little bit more confident when I realise that those three aren't playing tonight. Um, uh, listen, it's a massive game. I was there in Barcelona for the 2006. And I have to go through that again. Uh, all I can say is I, 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 that's how I'm looking at the game at the moment. I, I'm, 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 I'm quietly confident. I think uh, we, as long as we don't come out and, and, and have a defensive sort of attitude and, and, and you know, hold back, uh, it, it won't be easy. But listen, any team, and we can all agree with this, any team that's got fucking Eric Dyer in their defence, you've got to be doing them, haven't you, really? Let's be fair. <laughs> you know, so um, that's my uh, that's my 10 pence worth in. But uh, I'll, I'll sit back and listen to you boys uh, carry on. Thanks for letting me speak anyway. Top boys, well done. Calm, calm. Um... Yeah, thank you, thank Lats, you. Uh, let's proceed with it. He's just been put in the background. I think he only spoke when Mo was speaking. Lats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, because I just didn't like... Um, I just didn't like the fact that um, you want to... First of all, you just want to bully somebody into agreeing what you want to agree with. Like, don't force people... Or don't try and impose your opinion into the next person. And I hate that. And obviously, and because he didn't agree with it, 100%. And because he didn't agree with it, now you're trying to categorize all of us as weirdos. Like, this guy, he, he's just one of them guys that got superior complex. I've seen one time he was having a debate with somebody, and I can't even remember what the topic was about, but basically, he was just trying to say majority of the Arsenal fans feel a certain type of way. And one of the guys was like, "Wait, he talking oh, about who are the... I'm talking Mo, about the guy? Yeah, Mo, who just left. He was basically trying to say, oh, the majority of Arsenal fans I speak to don't believe such and such." But it, I said, remember that conversation. It was yeah. with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you elaborate, Please, please, just elaborate. Uh leave that guy, man. There's no yeah, let's, let's... <laughs> No, yeah, let's let's, this... let's 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 get me football on it. Yeah, let's just move on. Yeah, but yeah, yeah but, but lads, yeah. lads, I want I wanted to ask you a question, man. Yeah, go on. Um, in the in the first leg of um the the this tie, I think Declan Rice was played as an eight, and it did yeah. not really, it didn't really show well in the first half, right? Yeah. Do you think this second leg you should still be deployed? Right. Yeah, 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 I think so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, in my opinion, I feel like I don't know. You know, it's kind of frustrating because it's like I feel like with Georgina in the picture, the midfield is a bit more compact. But I feel like yeah, Declan is more box to box. So I think he's just better off in that eight position. Yes, we ain't seen the best of him yet, but I feel like it, it kind of suits. But at the same time, Georgino. Does he really have the legs for these players to be catching them? Hey, and- Lats, sorry, I just want to... Oh. And Fina, um, I think part of why he didn't uh, impose himself as well in the first leg was because uh, he was carrying that yellow. If he got another yellow, he would have missed this game tonight. So I hope that he'll be more imposing in that midfield tonight than he was last week. Yes, well, yeah, yeah. That's actually a good point. Um, explains probably why he was playing more um, attacking. But... I just feel like, yeah, like, you know, obviously Partey, I would have loved to see Partey play that six, but physically we don't really know if he's up to speed. Um, so it's just only right playing it safe, isn't it? Georgino in that six and Rice in that eight. But I don't know, can we entertain that conversation of maybe Rice in the six and Georgino the left eight? Rice is on yellow card, so why would you want to expose him, in my opinion? Me, I don't, I don't even like um, Harvard too. But if it's Jorginho in the left eight, I'd rather Harvard plays in the midfield than Jorginho. Because hmm, 
Jorginho in the left eight will not be able to do anything, man. He will not. He, will, he won't be able to like get close to those Bayern players. So Havertz will even be much more better in that position than Jorginho. In my head, though, like attacking wise and everything, right? If Partey cannot play, because Partey not playing any minute at all in the Villa game, just gave me a kind of vibe like ah, Mikel will not start him for this Bayern game. Because I, I was thinking it would come in like in the second half, so it would just at least get a bit uh, match fitness. But it feels like it will still be Jorginho and Rice. So. I think maybe today's game, Rice will not really go forward, just like the City game, right? It, it will be much more. He would be much more in a pragmatic position. He will not really um, be so attacking or be upright. He, he would rather just be like a, a pivot with Jorginho. So because the last game, it felt like Jorginho was exposed, and. See that run Sunny made for the second goal for their penalty, the Hurricane penalty. If it was uh, Declan Rice there, that would not have been a goal. That would not have been a goal because uh, Jorginho was even struggling, but he still tried. When he, he tried to uh, slide, his legs, some part of his legs still got on the ball. Then imagine if that was Declan Rice sliding. Definitely he's booting the ball out. So that's just the only place where, like what Lat said, it will not be a good sight when it's Jorginho like chasing down their fast or quick players on transition. So I want Rice to be like much more closer to our back four rather than him being high up the pitch. Just if it's even a case, right, if Asus can play, Asus would be able to combine in that left half space with Martinelli or Trossard and they will be able to like conjure up or come up with something rather than having uh, Rice up there then leaving Jorginho just at the base alone. Now, nah, that, that will not be too good in my own opinion. You know, I don't want to interrupt you, bro, but I just want to ask Hustlings, uh, are you going to open a podcast right before the match? Yes, 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 yes. Because uh, I've got to leave. I want to yeah, join this, this will run till after that, so let's keep it like... Going, I'll be. I'm going to the office, but I'll be listening and chipping in here and there. So, yeah, well, I'm I'm here, so shit, holding it down. But um, it's, yeah, Lil Finn, I kind of agree. Um, you know, Georgina playing that left eight. That's why earlier we was talking about or kind of entertaining this conversation of Zinni playing that left eight role because even in that first game. Um, a lot of you would agree, like, oh, um, Zinni was very impactful Impactful as soon as he came on. So it's like, I don't understand why Arteta can't experiment with Zinni just playing that left eight role. I know, obviously, th this game might not be the best game for the experimental, um, for experimenting, but I just feel like if we're looking for creativity on the, on the left side, why not just play it safe with Zinni? I mean, we know what he's capable of doing. Uh, I think the scare with Zinni, and, and I've, I've had this conversation with someone before, right? I think in midfield, Zinni is very good when he's deep, right? When when you're in that left eight, you are in the thick of the action. So a lot of things like dwells, you need to be nibble on your feet. You need to be very good in tight spaces. You need to create separation and try to like make yourself open to receive a pass turn and do things. I don't think Zini is good at those things. The things we see him doing midfield that he's good at are things that people in the sixth row play, like deep line playmakers, like the likes of Pello and all those guys, where he can be at that base to dictate play and try to spot out people that can receive the ball. But when it's now him that should receive those balls, I think it will be a whole lot of different conversations because when I even look at him, I don't think is really strong enough to be in all those kind of midfield battles. So I just think that's what, what is still making Miguel Arteta hesitant in playing him in the left eight because those other intricate stuffs where you need like attacking midfielders to do, Zini is not really good at it. But when he's in the deep line playmaking role, where he can see the full picture, know where space is hard to ping the ball, I think Zini is very good. And we saw it 
even though he had a bad game, like he had a shaky game in the second half for the Villa game, but we saw him in the first half, right? If that if Harvard was a tad bit clinical, it would have used one of the opportunities he created for him and maybe would have gotten a goal. So that's what Zini can give you. When he's in the deep line, well, play, he, he offers... Well, a lot. But, but that's exactly what we need with this Bayern game, right? Ah, uh, but that's scary, man. <laughs> because the, uh, uh, Zini has uh, that switch uh, in his head, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But at, at the at the end of the day, we need to score. We need to find chances. Like, I mean, we need. Sp- I mean, I understand that. I understand that Zini is not our preferred or the guy that we think that should, you know, play the left back. I mean, now, but trust me, we we need we need a lot of pressing, and I think Zini Zini can help us a lot with the pressing games that our players will be playing up front because. I, I mean, who 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 can you even think of? I mean, uh, uh, to to come and like you know handle that left back, whether Tommy Asio, or I, I I don't know. But you see, the the funny thing is that the midfield also like directly affects the left back. I mean, I mean, I'm not a fan of Declan Rice at the midfield. I mean, you you can come at me, but I just don't think that. I mean, we should play him in this match. That's that's my two cents. But I agree with you. like we should not play him at all. We shouldn't play. Right, so we should no, no, we should bring it. We should bring him maybe maybe like second half or treat him like the way Atesa treats him <laughs> in Tokyo. Are you I joking? Mean, I don't no, think this match is for him, honestly. E- EB, out of curiosity, how would you set up the uh, midfield without uh, Rice? Any in any other player apart from Rice is is some is somehow good for me. I I see. I, at first, we we like Jorginho and Declan partnership. I mean, it was cool, but for me, I just feel like Rice is not the player that we need to play in this Bayern game. I mean, we can play him in any of our other games, but I think he he wouldn't he wouldn't really help us much because the kind of game that I'm thinking Ateta should play, Rice can't fit in. I mean, I I, I that's what that's what I'm I'm saying. I think this is the first time I've heard someone say something like this. Yeah, yeah, I can second that. <laughs> oh, wait, so this is the first time. Play then. I'm, I'm curious, who would you start your your midfield with? EB. Even. It, it wouldn't be. Uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Listen, it, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be um, um, Declan Rice. I, I understand that. I mean, he's the best option that we have, but this, this is what I'm saying. Um, I don't know is 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 uh, Martin Odegaard like uh, I'm going to play? Of course he's playing. <laughs> ah, because I had no, no. I I think I think I think someone was asking whether I mean there was any update to him because I don't yeah, know whether. I thought I said he was okay. I thought I said he was okay. You sure? That's yeah, he is. He trained with the team. He trained in the last training session they had before they traveled. He trained. Oh, okay. I the whole squad I mean, was I'm, there. Oh, I, I'm, maybe, maybe it's just for the press. So this whole squad was there. Whole squad was there. Maybe they are scam people. Man, before the list, uh, when is the list coming out? I think in an hour or two. I mean, no, no, no. The Sorry? list out by before seven now. So let's say three more hours. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll wait for the list, but I know there's going to be shocking. No, but other guy will definitely yeah. play. Other guy, I think he also told like one Danish um, news site that it was fine and okay. Mm. So you will. I think it was just like what Phantom said. It was him and Ben White getting subbed off against Villa was more of um, a game a game load management and not not really them having any issues. Right. EB, yeah. e- 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 please, please, please. I, I, yeah. Oh, Mark, okay, cool, cool. Hey, could you please answer that question about what midfield that you would put on tonight if it's not that one, like, please? I'm dying to hear it. I didn't hear you. I said, could you please answer the question, what midfield that you would put on tonight um, if that one race isn't going to start for us, please? Uh, I, I answered that. I said, any any other, any other person? No, 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 no. 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 So, so, right. So I'll put words in your mouth then. So you think 
G20, let's say J20 because we know he's fit. J20, Smith, Rowe and Odegaard would be a better midfield than Rice, J20 and Odegaard. And, and where does uh, uh, Jorginho come? Well, I mean, it's up to you. It's your midfield, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm, I'm prepared. No, you, no. I, for me, for yeah. me, I'm saying that I'm saying that Declan wouldn't play, but Jorginho is a must for me. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. So, so who, who, who's beside? Like J twenty is going to play six. So who's who's point eight for you tonight, mate? Of this session. Who, who's playing? Who's playing left eight for you tonight? If Dick when Rice doesn't start, I mean, I mean, sorry, is acting who is playing left eight if Rice is not starting in that position? It, it see, it it comes back to what I I said earlier that I prefer Jorginho to partner with Declan at the midfield, but then if if let's say. If if we are going to play the left wing, th this is why I said it was connected at first. We are going to play the left wing, and we are going to say uh, uh, Zichenko wouldn't play, like the way uh, Lord Fina was, you know, arguing that. I mean, when when we go to the box box or uh, to find spaces, I don't think that Zichenko would be best. But fine, if it would be Tommy Yashu or Kiwo, these any of those players, I would prefer a Jorginho and Declan partnership. But then if Zichenko is going to play. I just feel that any other person in that position, apart from the Clarence, would be okay for me. That's what I, I think I understand your uh, your way of thinking. So you you want a midfielder that can play, you know, the ball from, in between the lines, essentially, because that's what Declan Rice. Um, you um, always lacks. understand. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> <laughs> But you see, no, you, I'm just trying I'm, to help uh, EB. Right? Yeah, I'm, just to I'm help here. You. I'm here to to ask. Um, what's it called? Um, my my senior man Hoxton this question because I saw that he put that. I mean, my guys, I'm for sale. I mean, for forty million, and I mean, I felt offended, but by, by, by this forty million, I don't know. I can't lie. That forty million. If his if his price is forty million, just know he's not leaving. Nobody is paying forty million for Mister Enketia. Nobody's paying that, man. Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean, my friend? Hey, hey, what do you mean? What do you mean nobody's paying that for TV? I want to understand. Is it for the positive or the negative? Maybe if it's 40 million Naira. I don't know. But uh, 40 million pounds? No, no chance. Hey. hey, hey, hey. You need to put some respect on Eddie Ketcher, okay? See? Eddie, Eddie, Eddie is 80 million. I'm telling you. Don't Eddie, Eddie. Jesus. Hey, cap, cap is an open floor, okay? So, ah, Cap is here. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Cap, man, I'm sure you're expecting a lot from uh, Bukayo Saka tonight. Well, well, uh, my, my, my main concern, you know, as my problem has always been on this app, ever since you might know me, is with the fans. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys, it's you guys I don't really like. Except for some people here, even though you're still on mute. Cap, your, your microphone's yeah, a bit muffled. Yeah, Cap, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, it's better now. Yeah, it's better now, yeah? yeah. Is it good? No, yeah, someone says... Yeah, yeah, Cap, it's good, it's good, it's good. We Thank can hear you. you now. Now, back to what I was saying about you cats coming on this flipping app to be talking about, oh, I'm shivering in my boots. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't want the. I want. I don't want. I don't want us to lose embarrassingly. As far as I'm concerned, you you, you have labelled this club to be the best club in Europe. You've labelled them to be the most defensive, best attacking, squad built team in the whole of Europe. Let me tell you something. Europe is not a small place, you know. Do you know how big Europe is? There's even some countries in Europe you, you wouldn't even think are in Europe. Let's not let's let's not do this now. Let's not do this nonsense that you might do every single flipping season. Whenever it comes to the business end of the season, and you know crunch time is around the corner when you're even in it. You might start changing opinions. You guys start you you guys start you you guys start start allowing reality to start slapping your faces. You start being her. Huh, hmm. I don't know about this. Any names? Let Is Let any me names? tell you. No, no, because I was I was at it specifically in the group chat. 
And I was, in fact, someone even put in a space to me. I was tagged. I could show you the screenshots. I was tagged in a, in a DC saying, the fans are turning their heads. Let me tell you something. I have been standing on the side of we're not winning anything or whatever, whatever, since the before the season even begun. Lofina, you, you can testify to that. I don't need anyone turning their heads now. I need to. I need the people that I will cook at the end of the season. Don't even dare turn your heads. As far as I'm concerned, you man have been backing this club from the beginning. Continue to back them today. Arsenal will do whatever you even imagine them to do from the get-go. Don't change your thoughts now. Don't change that opinion. Yeah? Be confident. Your world-class soccer will go to the Alliance today and do the madness. Believe it. Yeah? Martinelli, yep, yep. that you man, the, the that's better than yeah, Phil yeah, Foden. Martinelli, that you man, that you man called the best winger, best left winger in in, in the Premier League. Guys, season, please don't go to the this Alliance guy. He's a fraud. and do the madness today. Don't change that opinion. Don't listen yeah? to this no, fraud. No, 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 no. You're not doing all this. Brother, what are we doing? What are we doing? You come to the business end, and then you get shaking in your boots. You start shaking, no, you start changing up in you. You start, you start opening to, your eyes. Don't, don't open. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't, don't come here and be interrupted, man. You, man, don't, don't keep, keep your eyes closed as, they, as they've been since the beginning of the season. You, man, have been on this false number one the whole season. You know what I'm saying? Playing all this nice ass football, beating slapping tees 4 0, 5 0. You, man, were riding off one stupid hat trick from a Ketya. When he scored against flipping Sheffield United, don't don't change now. We need we need these we need you. We need the positive fans. Don't change those opinions. I beg He's you. He's a fraudulent fan. I don't believe Please. these guys are Arsenal no, fans. Cap, so cap, cap, cap. I ask you a question, bro. Dare. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, so sorry. sorry. Don't don't so, no, no, I'm so sorry. Listen, no, wait, wait, yeah. sorry. Just just one more. Just one more. Yeah. And the whole Declan Rice uh, discourse. Don't you dare. Listen. Don't even get me mad. Don't you dare disrespect Declan Rice in any in any way or form. Let me tell you why. You don't get to slander the, the person you called the best six last season for the white boy that came from from West Ham. So, wait, this but, is because but, you but can't... Oh, no, 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 no. This is not awesome. You can slander your best striker last season. 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 You can slander your best striker You guys now want to change the whole opinion on Declan Rice. I don't want to start saying, ah, oh, party is better, man. Oh, no, Declan Rice can't be starting in a low seat. Oh, no, no, push Declan Rice up. He needs, he needs his hand held. You know why I don't want to let this guy finish? This guy's a fraud. Do you know what it is? When they've been winning, when they've been winning, when Arsenal's doing good, he's never outside. Oh, Arsenal, my God. Arsenal loses one game. Listen, he wants everyone, to come everyone knows how I mean, man. Everything. Everything. Everyone knows how I no, mean, in, in fairness to Cap, in fairness to Cap, Everyone knows, I, everyone knows when I'm coming out. Everyone knows when I'm coming out. Everyone knows when I'm quiet. Everyone knows when I'm coming outside. Don't why, why you worry. Don't you, you worry. Lose? All I why, know is, why you speak oh, in fact, if lose? anything, why? yeah, it's why? not about losing. Why are you talking about losing? Are we losing? Are we losing today? No, no, I'm not talking about losing. Okay, so I'm outside. What's the problem? What's the problem? I'm outside there. What's the problem? We're not losing. We're here. So I'm here. What's the problem? He's a fake. We it's were a, having oh, such a calm day, bro. Lofina, what happened? Lofina, are we losing? Please answer the question, please. Are we losing? Jesus Christ. Who? No, Us. Not. Yes, are we losing today? No. Uh, no, so I'm outside. Thank you, I'm here. So what's the problem? Why, why are you guys so, saying that? Okay, I'm would outside? you be outside if I'm you outside. were the board then? Let's but wait, wait, yeah, PM, PM, hold on. Don't listen to these PMs to try and Let me ask a question. Cap, go on, yes. Cap, as a football man, yes, right? yes, yes. What What do you think the scoreline would be today? What's your prediction for the scoreline? I, I think I, I think um, the scoreline will be a complete obliteration on from 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 But I do think if Arsenal were to ever get through, uh, it, it, it could it would sort of be on uh, penalties or or one nil uh, smash and grab. 
You that is on. crazy. That, that's my, okay, that's my enough, personal yeah. opinion. That's his own personal that, prediction. Yeah, that's my... You think it's going to be a complete obliteration. Do, do you hear what the words he's using? How can he say that? That's, 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 that's my that's personal why you wait opinion. Him you wait for him personal. Yeah. But look, you, know what I like? you see when you say wait from outside, when we win, he's not outside. That's the problem. Don't, hey, hey. See, don't listen to this PM guy. Don't listen when? to this PM guy. Okay, this, this example, is what, you know what it is? Hold on. Yeah. Let, let me tell you something. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. When we, right, when, 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 when we play yeah. Porto, when we play Porto, yeah. and, and, and Porto, and you lost. we beat Porto, and, and you lost. see, look, when I was you see, you see, look, I was you see, outside. and you lost. When yeah, we played Porto, outside. and we got through to the quarterfinals, he wasn't outside. Right. Yeah, when you lost, I was outside. When you when you got through, I was outside. When you when you The whole... The, the the whole group stage, m- m- majority of the group stage, you weren't finding me. Let me tell you, let me tell you why. It, let me tell you why this is a repetitive rep- thing. This is why I'm consistent. Yeah, this is this is cap. Yeah, you will always find cap at the beginning of the season, all the way to January transfer window. After that, I disappear. You won't find me. That that's just and that's just it. You know why? Because I've said everything I need to say from the beginning of the season to January and I'll keep repeating it in spaces every single time. That's why people are saying, oh, Cap, you have an agenda. You say this every time. You're just coming here to say it. Yes, because I'll keep saying the same thing. After I said it till January, I will disappear until game week 28 when it is crunch time because that is when I know that I will be proved right. As, as, as it stands right now, you guys are holding a Cornish second. I thought you should be first. Cap, Cap. Or, all of a sudden now, you man lost one game. You guys won... You, so He's you saying you, yeah, man. Are you, are you part of Arsenal? No, no, no. no you, listen, man? listen, you, PM. Man? Because as I know what I saw. You lost one game. You, and man? the are majority of the fan, fan base, majority of the fan base turned their heads. Majority of the fan base lost hope. Just for one game. I didn't have to be outside. 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 You don't have to Do not even think of changing your mind. Just be consistent. Come on. Let me come on. Come on. Let me come on. Come on. Let me come on. I'm the most optimistic Arsenal fan there ever is. I'm the biggest Arteta fan there ever is. I predict 2 0 Arsenal tonight. I still think the Premier League is not over and done with yet. I'm proud of this Arsenal side. There is a section of our fan base, and you've just highlighted it in the way you're talking, of a Curtis Shaw and a Lee Gunner part of our fan base. It's disgusting, mate. It's absolutely disgusting. You actually want Arsenal to get beat 7-0 tonight to prove you right, rather than being happy to be proven wrong. But I'll do you a favour. Listen, 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 please. I'll, I'll stop a second, right? Just let me on. I'll, I'm willing to do you a deal. Regardless of the result tonight, I'll come on this space. Will you? Regardless of... I don't see. Listen, you hardly find me on spaces. That's the thing. He said, but when you say when, when you PM is space, saying yes outside, no. he's saying, you don't Before see you me wish, tweeting. I won't be on spaces. You don't see me talking. You don't hear from me. That's what Pierre trying to say. You don't see me messaging him, like, like DMs and stuff like I used to, when I used to be cooking him in DMs and, and in GCs. That's what PM trying to say. You don't really find me in spaces like that. Gone, you got ask, ask Gone, when was the last time you saw me in spaces? Probably in Feb or like beginning of Feb. That was oh, the last time. Will you try to make out time for this one? Will you try to make space? So, as far as I'm you, concerned, you, regardless of the result, whether you get obliterated, annihilated, or whatever, you're not finding me in no space. You're not finding me. I, I guarantee you. I won't even say a word. You know why? You know why? No, go for that. Because it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's that that that's you know what I'm saying. It's okay to be obliterated. You know what I'm saying. But, but but up, I heard you. you I heard you. On the I don't speech. need to. You know what I'm saying. I've said everything it's I need the to project, say. The process. I've said everything I need to say from the beginning of the season to January. I don't need to come back. Do you know why this guy is a fool? All I am, you know all I am saying. Hold on, saying, Cap, hold you, know on because you, you see that the, the message is flying over you man's head tops. You get, for those that don't have hairlines, he's just flying over your bald head. What I am here to say is, I have a problem with the fans. Do not change your opinions. I am, I am not. Cap, I am not. Well, that's you personally, but the, the, the general consensus is that the fans are not changing. See, all this nonsense I've been hearing about Declan Rice. Just, just, a, just a few weeks ago, Bro was the best six in the, in the league. You might want to compare him to Rodri. 
All of a sudden now, they were saying 105 million. All of a sudden now, you, you guys are trying to say it because Kamish should have paid more. A, a line banking pass through the defense at party. Let's not do this. Do not. I, hey, I will shout it again. Do not change your opinions. And I won't. Hey, I for won't. those in the back, there's 91 people here. Do not change your opinions. Don't you dare. Don't even try to say, oh, uh, if, see, if Arsenal lose tonight, you better crush it on Arsenal if they lose. They can't. No it problem. is very much expected for Arsenal to slap up Bayern Munich. Yeah. According to you guys. Can't, one last it's question. Very much expected. One last don't question change opinions. That's what I'm saying. Can't, one last question for you, mate, before you go. Like, when you don't do spaces, we get that. You've said you're better. You know, we all get that. We've all heard that. It's true. Check yeah, on my last tweet. Check on my last tweet. Please, one last question before you leave. See if Arsenal do... What happened to Mark? That, that's what oh, happened. Mark. We get muted in this space because clearly, I don't know what... No, sort of no, one here. no one got mm -hmm. muted. No one got muted. I'm saying, Cap, if Arsenal win the Champions League or the Premier League this year and prove you wrong, are you likely to stay in the group chat and face the criticism that you, you're going to receive? Because believe me, I'm going to come for you. Big time. I will come Listen, for you. Me and you are literally the same. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. Me you are in the no same offense, We're not winning. You can me and you see done. me have... Mark, Mark, hold on. Let's not do this. Don't, don't, don't act like anyone that asks me in a group chat, I don't respond. Me and you are literally the same group chat in, what, like, Houston, uh, in the Arsenal group chat. Anyone that asks me, I address them, you, you know, according to what, whatever the, the, the topic is. And I, and I go about my day. Let's not do this. If you man win anything... Fez, uh, in fact, that if, if why you do you keep what, saying you're sick, human? Are you not your Arsenal sick. fan? Why, 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 why do you keep why using you third person? Are you not Arsenal well, I can't fan? Speak. It's, it's English. It's, it's, English. English. it's, it's English. English. It's English, bro. Uh, you, cool, cool. Uh, you know what? If we win anything for you, <laughs> he's on loan to Real Madrid. Your sake, Why are you saying I apologize. Can you please accept my apology? I apologize. Do you know what's funny? If we win anything, yeah, I will come in space. For for you guys' sake, so you guys can can, can cook. Yeah, you Absolutely. know what? But it, 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 but if you guys don't win anything, I'll be on the Respectfully, yeah. I'll be on the <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying come on space or anything, but just respectfully. Acknowledge for you. That's what I'm saying. Cap, Cap, Thank you yes, that's what I'm saying. Over, if you're right, if Cap, if if yeah, and this is a big if, if we win champs or if we win prem, this is why is it a big if? Just you're saying, not a man. You're not a supporter, <laughs> man. This guy's good. This guy's a good. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? It's a big if because okay, cool. Why is it big in if? the draw, in the round, in the side that we are, we're facing mm -hmm. a much tougher opponent as opposed to the other side of the draw. The what do you mean? You can't beat them. Seems... No, I'm just saying. Been to... I said we're facing tough. Listen, I said we're facing tougher opponents. That's yeah, we're better than him, though. You said we're better than him. I said we're facing tougher opponents. That's what I'm saying. So you're not better than he. I didn't say we're not better than C's, but I said I don't think. Right at this point in time, no, we're not better than C. No, C is one of the best ah, teams in you Europe. You don't think we're better than Real Madrid? I think we could beat Real Madrid, but I don't think we're better than Real Madrid. No. Mm. Mm. See, okay. You see, what about Bayern? That's, right? that's logical thinking right. because everything the same as well. I think Arsenal could be Arsenal could be exactly anything what? to your legs, but it doesn't mean say exactly. that we think they're better. Well, what about Bayern Munich? Bayern Munich, we can beat them today as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel more confident. If we have anything about ourselves, we, have to, to we yeah, have to win tonight. Yeah, yeah. I hear yeah. it. I hear it. Mm. Like I said, if Arteta <laughs> leaves with BBS this season, Captain, yeah. you need to come outside. I'm right outside, outside full, for your sake. For right your sake. A full apology. And you yeah. need to say that Mikel Arteta is one of the greatest managers. Hundred percent. Hey, 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 hey. But hey, you got my signature, bro. You got, you got my, you got my, you got <laughs> yeah, my virtual signature right there. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it for you. Hey, but all and I'm Cap, saying, don't though, go if, jumping if on your nothing... burner account because I've seen you in your burner account, Cap. Hey, don't hey. think I don't know about your burner account. <laughs> hey, I've listen, seen you in your burner you account, Cap. If you don't, you see, hey, if, nigga. All I'm saying you, is, you think I don't know you, you fraud. <laughs> if we, if we, if I, if it, if it turns out that I was that I'm correct, all I'm saying is, please just acknowledge me. I don't ever want to hear it. the words. And I'll hold my hands up and, and say, Cap, Cap the same sentence. you was I right. Want to we hear apologize. That again. This is and that. We will see. We're here. No, we're I don't even need apologies. I just need a knowledge. Because you might want to apologize and then still see your full next season, anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Side note. I, I, I just want to acknowledge you. That's what I'm saying. But in the meantime, do not change your opinions, people. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Just just stay on that side. You know that drama owner will say, stay on that side. You might you might want to switch up. Stay on that side. Do not be afraid. You can't be saying, you can't be afraid that you're going to the Alliance today. 
You can't be thinking, yeah, you're not going to come out there with a the result. You can't, you can't do that. I'm so to, sorry. You guys... You... To, to be honest with Saka, I'm looking at him specifically because Alfonso, Alfonso Davis is suspended. Saka will turn up. Don't so... worry, man. Don't worry. He will turn up. You Don't worry. He will turn up. That's what you guys have to say, by the way. But me, personally, I don't have to believe that. But you don't worry. For, for, he will turn up. Yeah? It, it's all good. Yeah? Martinelli, he will turn up. Jesus. Cab, will your, will your second team win to the, 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 the mentality monsters? Madrid. One million percent. That, that, hey, I'm not even worried about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all good. They're going to, they're all going all going good. to the Etihad collecting the money. Do, do, you know, sure? do you know what I'm killing me? I'm not even too fast about that one. Cap, if Arsenal win and Real Madrid lose, that will make me laugh, Cap. Absolutely Why would that make you laugh? Because the way you're here saying what million percent that Real Madrid is going to yeah, win, please, when it please, comes to Arsenal, please, you want to start please, uh, specify what you mean by this. winning. What do you mean by winning? Is it what do you mean winning? It, what the heck? Because you know, you know, you can still like not win the match but qualify. Oh so my just, just, God! Just look just at this clarify what you're saying there. Well, you, you can't you... do that, cap, because there's not a way to go. So you have to win the game, bro, to go yeah. through. No, 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 no. Oh, Beating a team of penalties was... is not winning the match. That's FIFA rules, by the way. It's not. It's not my rules. It's actually FIFA rules. Go, go check it. Do your research. So, right. what what do you mean by winning? Just just clarify. <laughs> you know what I mean by winning. Are you winning the game and you and you uh, are you qualifying? Okay, Real Madrid is going to win the match and qualify. That's what I'm okay, saying. Cool. I'm, I'm happy saying. that you said that. But Arsenal won, according to you. No, I didn't say that. But what are you saying then? I said, it, is Harry is Harry? Are, are you guys just are you guys just gonna completely ignore the fact what I uh, the part what I said? Uh, Arsenal could uh, go through penalties or GC you was, no, but the thing is, you just said you have a feeling that Bayern Munich is going to yeah, but yeah, but, us. The, but but yeah, no, but, said, but I still hold on, lean. Hold on, yeah. you said you said cap, and I repeat, Bayern Munich is going to obliterate us. Look at the language of the vocabulary. Obli- yeah, obliterate and uh, yeah, obliterate. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, apologies. Obliterate, sorry, apologies. Annihilate, obliterate, yeah, yeah. annihilate, whatever you want to call it. Demolish, yeah, I feel that's meaning that. I feel as say. though I feel as though Bayern Munich would. That that's my feelings. But well, feelings is not reality. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I'm tired yeah, of this man. guy that you guys listen to. I don't know why you give him a platform. He's always here. And do you know is eventually cap. Do you know what happens? Sometimes you get caught out. So just make sure you don't get caught with that. But, t- t- but till today, you might have still not caught the cat. T- bro, it's been ha- yeah, but how long have I known you? I've known you for at least three seasons now, yeah? Till today, I've, I'm still waiting for someone to hold my shirt and say, hey, I've caught you now. It, it still not happened. You know why? Because I tell you, your manager. And as long as that manager, your manager, it, you, you're not catching me. That's just what it is. 100%, man. 100%. I agree with you on that, man. And uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the news about Gabriel Hines. Arteta wants to add him to his backroom staff. Like that's going to be trans transformational. You know, it's going to deliver us the the Premier League, the Champions League with Gabriel Hines as our assistant. Coach. I realize Arsenal fans, yeah. you guys are really selfish. Two three years ago, we were fighting just to get back into the Champions League. Now people are saying, "Oh no!" As if it's going to deliver us. This is not. Listen, no one's saying that. Okay, cool. We're going to come and just knock everybody out it doesn't know it's a process it took Pep Guardiola how many years to win the Champions League was he not still re- re- renowned as one of the greatest managers are in the league are you smoking crack I'm are you a question are you, crack, are you, crack, are you smoking crack. Crack. Guardiola are you, won the I swear he won the Champions League within the first two years of his managerial I'm career I'm saying in Manchester City I'm saying in Manchester City what the heck what are you doing here brother, oh what brother. you got you guys for your don't need the specifications, bro. Oh, How long did the specifications? Did Whatever, trophy? man. How long I'm did it take to win a trophy? You don't. You have. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. You know when you, 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 know, you, you know when your dad used to say. How long did it take Pep to win a trophy? How long? Hey, listen. I think it took him like nine months. I swear he won the trophy. It took him six months to win a trophy. Now what? Your mates are outside working. Your mates are doing this. Please, Cap, man. Please. Arteta's mates are outside winning winning trophies unbeaten. Yeah? They're outside winning leagues unbeaten. Without spending any money. You're here. Talking rubbish. Talking about it's a process and all that nonsense. Don't, don't. Arteta's childhood friends just win. Invincible in the I, I would not believe these are Arsenal fans. Childhood friends. And do you know what it is? Imagine. Someone whose name is called Cap. How can you sit down here and listen to him? 
He's basically hey, t- I you support see sometimes Arsenal when the devil told you, yeah, you, you have Arsenal to look at it and listen. You, you, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There was a statement I made the other day. Yeah. You, you are got, what, and what you forget? What you forget, your PM, as a, as a, as a very long long serving uh, fan of Arsenal, is that our te- when we when we were a banter club, yeah, we were only a banter club. Because of Arteta, we when he was a player we were, we were, and a no, flipping think, manager. No, I I'm don't know how that. to yeah, yeah, man. Started, 100%, it started man. from Una Emery. Oh, then he went to Arteta. No, 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 no. PM, PM. Let's remember not rewrite PM. Remember that season. Let's not rewrite remember that season. Let's not rewrite history. Remember that season. Arsene Wenger's 2000 game. No, no, no. I'm not going to let you do this. You guys can't tell me what I remember. The five one at Anfield when Arsene Wenger fell at the train station. He slipped, remember? On his face. The beginning of the season, 2018-19, I think it was, no, sorry, 19-20, Una Emery came from failing to get us into the top four and came from failing to win us the Europa League, which was his job, which is the PM, you're, you're shameless. Yeah, exactly. no, no, you're skipping out the 6-0 six, six defeat to Mourinho, no, no, the 5-1. I'm telling you the truth, because if that was Mikel Arteta, Cap will be coming in and telling you this every single day. Tell him your manager that failed to win the Europa League, your manager that that, that got that got this and this and that. He will tell you all of this. Is so that I'm injured? Going to tell so that's injured. No, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. When I tell you lost to the semi-finals, yeah. When I tell you lost to the semi-finals, yeah. Who did who who did he lose to? Is it? He lost to Villarreal. Yeah. Injured. Oh yeah. He was the manager to that Spanish draft. He was the manager. Well, you know, injured. Oh, you don't remember. Okay, I let me tell you who the manager that. was. Who did you lose to? Who was who? Uh, who was your last match uh, that, that you lost to? Your, your last loss, Mister Good. Oh yeah, that. that was the same manager that you lost to in the semi-finals. Let me tell you another fact. You see, do you know Emery has not? I don't. I, I, Emery has not lost a game away to Arsenal to to, to Arteta as a manager. Look at these fraudulent slacks. He's not got away, lost a you game know. away. The same manager you keep just up here? and down the park. All what I the know fuck is, are we doing? He's not lost a game away. What, are you, listen, what kind of stats yeah, are these guys? Let me, no, let me tell you what I'm about. No, no, no. You, said, let me tell you what look I'm about. Look at you, my Henry. Last, last, season at, uh, last season at Villa, Villa was a bad you know like, relegation. Go, it's taking him 12 months to take them to and, Champions League. They're going to get Champions League for about 12 months. They didn't want Ina Emery gone. Cap was probably one of the guys said he doesn't want Ina Emery. He wants a new manager. So for him to be here today... No, no, no. no. I like them. It took our Arteta. It took our Arteta. Watling top four. He's my favourite player. I don't appreciate that. Spending 500 million pounds to get top four. We have a big game today and we have fans... PM. So-called fans, I'm going to call yes, them so-called let me, fans. Let me tell you where I'm at, yeah. Talking the way they want to talk. I'm so sorry, I can't yeah, do it. Let me tell you where I'm at in my life as an Arsenal fan, Cap, yeah. Cap, no, please, I don't believe you're an Arsenal friend. I think but, you're just but, a Madrid fan. Let me and tell you where I'm at. I believe you're a troll <laughs> that you come into Arsenal, you come into disguise yourself. You are... Yeah, <clears throat> thank you. This has been going on for half hour. Can I, can I say my last statement? Yes, Cap, say your last statement. Let's no, 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 don't let him say that. Thank, thank, thank you, Houston. Please, don't thank let you, him. Houston, for this wonderful honour. Now, where I am at in my life as an Arsenal fan, I will see you next season. That is exactly where I'm at. All this nonsense, all this, all this rubbish that's going on today, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not fooled. I'm not, it's, oh, it's entertaining, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's entertaining, but my head is, is I'm ready at next season, as I am right now, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's have a wonderful summer. Get the boys in, uh, top tier players, and then we go for the league next season. That's what I'm at right now. So now you want to go this, for the league this next season? Munich, all this Bayern Munich preview matches. I'm not, I'm just, just pack it in. I'm not, I'm not here for this rubbish. All I know is next season we go again. That's all I know. You can't give people like this uh, platform. <coughs> it's terrible. So, so Hustings, I've put something in the Jumbotron. Uh, Okonkwo was voted League 2 goalkeeper of the season. Okay, right. Do you want him back in the Arsenal squad? No way. Please. Good luck to him. Let him go somewhere and play. If he does good, we can buy him back. It's not that deep. Now let's proceed to the game. Cheesy, how are you? I'm fine. Everyone here give this beautiful lady a follow. She lost her account, so please. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm going to follow back, guys. Please, though. How are you feeling about the game? 
I don't know. To my greatest surprise, I'm just normal. I'm not so nervous. Or maybe when the game starts, maybe I'll start being nervous. But for now, I'm just confident. I just feel like we can do it. Aside their majority players having injuries and all, I don't know. I just feel we can do it. So I'm okay. I'm confident. I believe we can do it. CPM, learn from your learn, learn from your colleagues. Yeah, learn, learn, learn from your age mates. Look at them being confident. Ah, please don't. So here come shaking I'm your tired of your, I'm, Yeah, I'm shaking me out. I'm tired of hearing your voice. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you have a big headache. <laughs> we haven't been in this for about seven years or eight years, right? So I, I'm sure there's this fighting spirit to move on to the next stage. And the problem with some of us Arsenal fans is that we like to look down on our team so much. Mm-hmm. There's so much hunger in that team. There's so much. There's a lot. Yeah, so I think we'll go through. <laughs> oh, yeah, dummy. How you feeling? <laughs> Man, those things. Um, overall, I'm, I'm not nervous like Cheesy said. Maybe when the game starts. Um, but I, I think we can beat them, you know. What I saw in the first leg, I'm confident we can beat them. I'm just hoping that um, the last two results, um, the Villa result and how the draw at the first leg is not affecting um, our boys. Because, you know, they tend to drop points in batches or drop form in, like, batches. So I'm hoping that everybody's, you know, ready for today. And just the defense, you know, I'm more worried about the defense than the attack. Um, Like, you know, I, 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 because we, we, we gift away goals. So if we can avoid that today, you know, take use of the, make use of the advantages that we have in the game, especially the fact that um, Koman and Gnabry and Koa won't be there. Um, if we can take, make use of those advantages and just, yeah, play our ball that we've been playing, you know, I think we'll be fine. Just don't go like too crazy and think that. They won't exploit the spaces behind you. So go crazy, man. What are you talking about? You can handle it. Look, man, if Arteta is really the chosen one, as most of us feel he is, he has to go there and win. Jose Mourinho did it in two thousand and uh, what was it, two thousand and four with Porto. He went to Old Trafford. Remember the I'm sure you've all seen the video. Oh, 